Good afternoon. Bet you wonder where I was. You thought I was here today. <laughs> Welcome to our noon time reflection from here in Conway in North Wales. We've been on holiday for the last little while, as you know. And when I spoke to you last Wednesday, it was from Northumberland, uh, outside Bamborough Castle. So we've got a kind of theme of castles going on here. And uh, do you know the weather's been absolutely amazing on this holiday? There's been sunshine all the time. But last Wednesday it was cloudy, and today it's cloudy. We left Leeds this morning, it was wet. So the motorway was a bit grim coming up the road because it was wet and a bit dark. But uh, it's not so bad here, although it's a little bit windy. We were going to film on a different part of the castle, but it was very windy over there. But anyway, so today we're in North Wales, Colmay Castle. It's behind me. Can you see it? This is an amazing castle. It's been here since the 13th century. It was built by Edward, King Edward I, all those years ago, almost 800 years ago. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? It's an amazing, um, an amazing fortress. It's got eight, um, and you can only see maybe two or three or four of them, eight amazing towers. And uh, anyway, it's just been around a long time. And it's been involved in some interesting wars during the time. It's seen a lot of, seen a lot of action around here. But it was built as a fortress, certainly, but it was also built as a statement of power and of prestige uh, by the King of England. But it's an amazing, amazing fortress. It's got an amazing history. But as time moved on, the place began to fall into um, disrepair. Uh, and by the middle of the 1600s, around 1650, it was in complete ruin. No one had any use for it anymore. The glory days seemed to have gone. It had been so useful, so strong, making such an amazing statement, so powerful just to look at. And then all of a sudden, its glory days are gone. It falls into disrepair and it's in ruins. Nobody wants to know. People come in, strip the lead, strip the iron, and it was worthless. And then in the 18th and 19th century, the only people that were interested in this castle were painters. They came along and painted because it's got a lovely, a lovely vista, hasn't it? And the whole area is absolutely beautiful. But towards the end of the 19th century, people began to look at it and thought, this is too important to let go, too important to let go by the wayside. So they began to see it through different eyes and uh, started to make some repairs. People were interested in coming to see it. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They classify it as the finest example of 13th century military architecture. The finest in the whole of Europe. This castle that was once a ruin. So, its glory days in a sense have come back. It's got a slightly different use. But if you go up there today, there are many tourists. And the car park's full, the shops are full. People just wanting to walk around the turrets. It's also a wall city. There's 1.3 kilometers of wall here. So it was built as a very powerful kind of a place and it's still here today. Maybe you've been, or maybe you'd like to come. But you know, there's a faith lesson in all of this, of course, and that's why I'm not just here to sell Col uh, Colway Castle to you. But it reminds me of our faith. Our faith, whenever we first come to faith or we grow in faith, it is like a, a powerful statement, a, a massive monument, a very, a very, uh, just a very powerful thing in our lives but how easily our faith can fall into disrepair and become ruinous. How easily that happens. And yet, that's a very sad thing when that happens. Maybe today as you look at your life, as you look at your faith in Jesus, it would be a good time to reevaluate because that's what happened in the council. People had to come and do a survey see what needed fixing, where the leaks were, where the damp was, where, where needed rebuilt, some bits completely needed rebuilt. And sometimes our faith in Jesus can be like that as well. It needs to be rebuilt. And even the best people can fall into disrepair. Maybe this would be a great time for you to look at your faith and to evaluate it. Is it growing? Am I close to Jesus? Am I closer today than I was five years ago? Or have I drifted? Drifting is such an easy thing to do. Things fall into disrepair and we don't even notice it. You know that in your own homes. Um, 
suddenly you you don't see that that window needs fixed or that wall needs painted because you just get used to the way it is but maybe with your faith in your life it would be a good time to reevaluate and to see what you need to fix and even in a greater sense i mean our nation was once guided under this bedrock of faith in jesus that kind of judea uh, um, christian um, uh, foundation that we had but we have drifted so far it's fallen into disrepair and i guess you can see that in our land in so many ways and lives and families in so many ways uh, we have forgotten about jesus and wandered away from that faith but for us personally it's a really important thing for us to grow and to fix. Go to read you some words from Psalm 48. Psalm 48 is a lovely psalm, but it says this, not talking just about a castle or fortress, but it's talking about a city, the city of God, Zion. And it says this, walk around with Zion, go about her, count her towers, consider well her ramparts, view her citadels, that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever, and he will be our guide even to the end. So the psalmist is saying, walk around this beautiful place, see how powerful it is, how important it is. And then I guess the psalmist is saying to all of us, walk around, look at your faith afresh, see what God has done, look what Jesus has done, what he has given for you because he loves you so much, gave his life as a ransom for many for you. Gives us the spirit to live with us, to change our lives, to change from glory into glory. The Sabbath is saying, re-look, re-survey. When I survey the wondrous cross, let's look again at our faith and see how amazing it is. Because that's what he's saying. Whenever we look, we'll realize this is mind-blowing. That's what the people thought about the castle. We can't let this just simply disappear. This is too important, too valuable to our nation, to our people. Your faith and my faith are valuable to us. It is valuable to us today. So let's reconsider it. Let's reevaluate it. And if there are bits that we fixed, let's fix them. And let it be beautiful once more, growing and growing, so that we can tell our children and our friends and our neighbors about the amazing God that we know who is strong and powerful and someone to build your life upon. The most important person in the whole wide world is our God, is our Lord, is our Jesus. He is beautiful, he is strong, and he wants you to be beautiful and strong for him also. So if you're in North Wales, come and look at this castle, walk around it, survey the towers and look at the citadels, same as with your faith. We're going to be leaving here shortly and heading off to um, Hollyhead to catch a boat. We've had a wonderful time here um, on the mainland over here of the UK. And uh, the last couple of days have been really special as we've spent them, well, the last 10 days really, uh, with Thomas and Lauren and especially uh, little Reuben, who was just beautiful. So, but God looks at you in exactly the same way, with love in his eyes and his heart, and he wants you to know that he is your God. If something needs repair, repair it. Be strong. Be beautiful for him. I'm going to pray and then we'll say bye-bye. So, shall we pray? Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are our God and that you are strong and that you are beautiful to us. We thank you, Lord, for the amazing sacrifice you made in coming to this world and dying on a cross on our behalf to take our sin so that we could be with you forever. Father, would you be our refuge, our fortress, our rock, our stronghold. And Lord, if there are things in our lives that need fixing, help us to fix them. Help us, Lord, not to let our lives or our faith fall into disrepair. But Lord Jesus, would you help us to build? You are the builder. And unless you help us to build, we'll not do a very good job. But you are the perfect builder the amazing architect. You know what is good and what is right. So Lord, for all those listening today, we pray your blessing. We pray, Lord, that your spirit will lead them and guide them and strengthen them. So Lord Jesus, thank you for your amazing love. And 
we pray in your name. Amen. Anyway, it's been good to see you today. We'll be at another castle, God willing, next Wednesday. Wonder which one it's going to be. Who knows? And uh, so, anyway, until I see you again, you take care. Um, have a great day. And until we see you again, be blessed.